Hey, this is Anthony from Amazon TV. You can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new TCX X5 Evo Gore-Tex boot, available at Rimzilla.com. So in front of me, you see the new X5 Evo, the evolution of the X5 Plus, which I have right here to my left, which has been a staple forever in the TCX line at around that $250 mark. What they've done is they've made it more usable, they've made it a little bit more functional, and they've improved the styling moving into 2015. Now, if we look at it, you're gonna see it has a slimmer profile. And again, this is a little bit in this update in styling. You can see some of the new design changes here from TCX. And remember, this is a three to four season Gore-Tex touring and commuting boot. That's not going to break the bank. I consider it staple, full grain leather, again, rock solid in the collection. We actually like the changes they've made. The first thing you're gonna notice, again, it's that styling, it's a little bit more contemporary. But when you get into usability, what you'll notice is the previous version, they've changed the last, or the shape of the foot here and the mold on this boot. So two things really come into play. The first one is that the toe box is slightly more narrow. And again, don't gasp yet American market because the previous version was almost too wide. Folks with wider feet have always had a great experience with the TCX X5 Plus. Now here in the Evo, they've trimmed it just slightly so that folks with average feet are gonna work well within it as well. So again, they're finding that happy medium. That's the lesser issue for me or the lesser change. The bigger change than what I really like is if you come in here from the side, you're gonna see it's lower profile. And again, this is a right side boot, but if you think about the left side, if you think about the shifting on your motorcycle, getting your toe underneath that shifter, under, working with your controls, a lower profile foot is going to be a lot easier to utilize. And again, you can see the instep starts to get a little high a little quickly on the older version. I love that they did that. Now, if we think about some of the other changes here, and really they're giving you a wider area of foam, the boot, boot is CE rated, which again speaks to the fact that TCX is safety conscious. As I move it around to the inside, you're gonna see another key change. And the other key change here is the fact that your zipper is completely covered. It's a YKK zip going all the way down. Remember your Gore-Tex line with a big gator coming all the way up so Mother Nature really can't touch you. And if your feet sweat a ton, it's gonna work phenomenally. But if what we do is when I expose it here, you're gonna see it's still a zip that goes down, YKK, but now it's on an elasticated zipper on both sides, it's covering up that gator. So it's gonna be easier in and out, especially with a heavy duty sock if you're riding in those winter months and you're giving it full encapsulation by virtue of covering it, which the previous version didn't do. We're big fans of that. Now, quick note on fitment. We talked about the footbed. The footbed's gonna be plenty fine for the American market. It's not overly narrow, no issues here. TCX tends to really rock it out when they come to the US and many of their boots fit spot on within the market. No issues on the size charts, check it out. So keep in mind too, if you're concerned about the fitment, we ship for free over 39 bucks, no questions asked, easy does it. And as always, subscribe here by clicking to Revzilla TV on our YouTube channel. Leave me your comments or questions, your gut reaction to the changes they made in the X5 Evo Gore-Tex over the X5 Plus. You can also notice it's a hair shorter. Again, they're going more in that touring commuting fashion, knowing that folks might step up to, the, to that Infinity Gore-Tex, which is the big brother. And there's also the AirTex Gore-Tex, if you want the AirTex, if you want to go spring, summer, fall and go more, more summer weight with a bit of better airflow, you can go to that lighter weight boot as well. Now, if we dive back into it, full grain leather upper, you can see lower profile touring style sole. In my opinion, it's still gonna be about a six or a seven on the stiff scale, which means it's gonna be great and supportive for your riding, but when you get off the bike, it's gonna be comfortable enough to walk around in all day. Do I recommend it under a pair of jeans sitting at your desk at the office all day? I think it's gonna be a lot to wear for a full day at work, but I do think that you're gonna be comfortable enough when you pull up at Mount Rushmore to hop off your bike and walk down and go see the sights or wherever you might be going. Now, if we work our way up, you're going to see here, refine the style here, but also refine the protection. Malleol's protection on both sides of the ankle. You're also gonna notice key change here for 2015 on the Evo version. Better elastication on the bellows, I left that out earlier. Another key change, refine your area of reflectivity on the back, a little bit increased, but again, better flexibility, better comfort. You can also see that with the way that they've angled the back here, so it's gonna work a little easier depending on the circumference of your calf. Now, diving back into the boot itself, you're gonna notice great heel protection, solid toe protection, the sole on this guy has been refined. Again, it's a little bit slimmer. It gets a little bit of an update, but it's not crazy, crazy changes like they've made on some of the other boots that might have that Michelin sole or some of the other adventure soles like the, like the um, Infinity, which is gonna have that Anarchy 3 sole. Moving back up, nice hard chin protection, giving you great coverage up towards the top. And remember, I'm gonna open it up one more time when you get into that Gore-Tex Gator. 
If your feet sweat a lot, if you're rocking this guy in the summer, the Gore-Tex is going to come in really handy because it's an impregnable barrier between you and Mother Nature, so water can knock it in. But water, vapor, and sweat that's evaporating, being wicked away from your foot, can certainly escape. That's why they do full grain leather. It allows your foot to breathe. And for those of you that sweat, you're going to know that you're not going to get swamp foot. You're really going to have the best chance of staying comfortable in a longer riding scenario that might change temperature, changing elevations, or changing seasons. Now, if you look at it, you're going to see wicking air mesh towards the top here. You see your Gore-Tex lining done in that gray with the tessellated Gore-Tex logo as you work your way into the boot. Again, no surprises here. We know Gore-Tex. If you don't know Gore-Tex, it is the top of the food chain when it comes to a waterproof breathable membrane. So the last key change again gets into a little bit of styling. You're going to see the shifter area on the toe box is just a little bit more contemporary. It's still embedded like the previous version was, but again, lower profile, some accent stitching. Again, they weighed a little bit of a style tweak, which I like. I like to see progressive manufacturers that are kind of changing with the times and not making a boot that's over the top and it's your European nature. It's really going to be right in the sweet spot of what a rock solid three to four season touring and commuting boot with a Gore-Tex liner is going to be in the lineup. Honestly, you're going to be hard pressed to find any better. Now, the next step in your journey is to click right here, read other rider reviews of the TCX X5 Evo Gore-Tex boot at RevZilla.com. Go read the reviews. There's going to be a ton of them. You don't have to take my word for it. As always, we ship for free over 39 bucks. And if you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to me at RevZilla TV on our YouTube channel. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.